Hey you guys, today is Friday, August 18th and we're at home and we're doing some work around the house. Our house is like this design studio at this point so it is quite messy all the time and so now I'm gonna go upstairs into our spare bedroom, our guest bedroom and I'm gonna redo it over again. When I show y'all this room don't judge because it is wild crazy. Uh, we had a photo shoot and after the photo shoot I was extremely tired and did not feel like putting things away so I just opened the door shot everything back in there and that's what it is so let me show y'all what it looked like. Again, like I said, do not judge me. I can't even get the door open. So this is what the room looks like right now. So a ton of pillows. If you guys didn't see, we did a kind of like a vlog DIY on doing this back wall. Me and Babe did that together. So this wall ended up costing us under a hundred bu uh, bucks to complete. We took the lampshade off of this lamp because I needed it somewhere else. So I'm taking that out of this room today and uh, just fixing it up to make it look a little bit different. So yeah, I got stuff everywhere. And then over here is or the dresser. I don't really care for this dresser, but it was free, so I kept it. And, um, yeah. And so, in here, you guys, I can't even get in this closet because all my pillows fell down. I took things out of places. But this is where I keep, like, half of my pillows. This is one of my places where I store pillows and linens. Um, and I am really kind of ashamed of myself. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to let you guys see how I'm cleaning up this room and rearranging it today. And uh, you're going to see me in my house dress. This is the most comfortable dress that I own. And judge me not. So anyway, hang tight and, and come along. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you guys see me pulling everything out of the closet. Typically I like to store things in here in plastic bags, but I ran out of them and then just got really too lazy to keep putting them in there. But before you guys start talking all crazy, because I know it's always one person talking slick, this closet has brand new carpet and fresh paint. Nobody stores anything like nasty shoes or anything like that. So I feel totally comfortable keeping my unbagged pillows in this closet. Uh, most of my blankets, they are going to be in and either um, one of the plastic bags that they come in the come in at the store and then some of them are just gonna be out but not too many of them so that's what I'm doing right now making sure I'm pulling everything up out this closet um yeah you guys this isn't even really half of all the pills that I own but now they are on the floor and I'm tired I haven't pulled everything out of the closet yet, but this is it for the pillows in the closet. I don't think I'm gonna pull out like all the blankets. I think I'm just gonna organize those a little bit in there. And then while I'm doing that, try to figure out how to make this room look better for you guys. So yeah, I should have turned the air on before I came in here and now I'm blocked in. So if I start sweating, don't get it. All right. So here is the first step of me trying to get organized in the closet. If you take a look over to this big ass pile, you're gonna see like, I mean, really just look down into the pile. Look deep and down into the pile. Are you listening camera person? Look deep and down into the pile. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm trying to get Babe to go down into the pile. Um, so yeah, this is like um, all my, my square pillows so big and small square and then over here you guys these are all my big and small rectangular pillows so then um there you go look at me <laughs> you guys this, this uh video is gonna be a little janky because my camera lady is um all backwards but um so now that's the first step of what i'm going to be doing um right now and so now i'm going to organize them even further so the big square the little square and then color i'm gonna try to achieve that but depending on how i can get it to fit in the closet it might just end up going back in there because i might get too tired to do it so yeah that's that
guys, what is my problem? Why, oh why do I have so many pillows? I mean, like, and this isn't even the half of it, so I just can't imagine that if I had to organize all my pillows, like how frustrated I would be right now. I mean, really, there is no reason to have all of these doggone pillows, but yes it is. I take that back, I take that back, yes it is. There is a reason to have all these pillows because you never know when you're going to need one. You never know um, if you're going to have enough to match everything that you buy. I mean, from beds to sofas to love seats to chairs to ottomans. You just never know where you're going to need these things. So you know what? I'm a pillow queen. Uh, uh, uh. Um, yeah, I know I'm corny, you guys. Whatever. Whew. Where are you taking a nap? Man, I was struggling with the pillows. They was falling on me and stuff. Oh, my Lord. Thought you took a nap. No, I need to take a nap. I need to, I, I'm finally making some way. And these are the outdoor pillows. So these can go on the floor. So the pillows that I'm putting in the closet, you guys, those are the ones that are outside under the gazebo, so they're pretty clean too. So now that I've got all the pillows in the closet, now I'm going to go ahead and take care of the blankets and get all of that other stuff that was in there straightened up. And really that's all you see me doing right here. Nothing too much in and out. I really honestly don't know how I have so much stuff in this closet. And honestly, I need more closet space. I rarely have clothes. Like my clothes problem is not a problem because I can put tons of clothes in my closet because I have that much space left. I'm not really big on a lot of clothes. Um, been there, done that. So it's just really not my thing. I prefer to do things for the house now and, you know, go gung-ho over comforters and pillows and blankets and sheets and duvets and accessories and lamps and vases and sticks and rugs and curtains and towels you know I can go on and on and on and on and on you guys but I am so in love with like interior linens and just all things house um, by the way if you don't know about me I am a professional interior stylist and if you would like some interior consulting definitely visit our website the link is in the d-bar below so yeah, all you see me doing here is just folding up these blankets. I'm not folding them up to perfection, but I'm getting them back in those nice little plastic bags that they come in, like I told you at the beginning of the video. And this one seems to be giving me a little bit of trouble, but I'm going to get this bad boy up in there. And then I realized there were some navy blue shams in there that I thought I was going to use for the room. I don't know. Um, see if I end up using them or not. You guys are going to have to watch at the end of, till the end of the video to see if I did end up using them. Babe, she thinks that um, they'll go on the bed really nicely. I don't really know what I'm going to do with the bed yet, but... Um, I'm pretty sure I'll have to go back in the closet and mess up some stuff again because I should have thought about that before I put everything up. But yeah, there we go. So there, I've gotten all of my blankets back into the closet, pulled some out of another room, and now I'm sipping on my tea. Alright. So, I am done with the closet. I'm going to show y'all what the closet looks like. I organized it as much as I possibly could organize it. Um, it's kind of color coordinated. It's kind of size coordinated. But, yeah, my camera lady, she's going to show you right on in there. Hang tight. I don't know you guys I think I did a pretty good job of organizing the closet if I do say myself it's definitely better than what it did look like now that we have shown you the closet this is what the current state of the room looks like I did leave some pillows out on the bed because I think I'm gonna end up using these as I do a mini room makeover so I'm just showing you guys what the room looks like right now before I do that so hang tight and I will come back when the room is all complete Drum roll, please. 
All right, presenting to you the finished room. I sped up this clip a little bit, you guys, so sorry if it's moving all fast. But here, nothing too major, just still softened up the colors a little bit. I did use those pillows that you saw um, sitting out on the bed. The colors actually go really well together, in my opinion, and just move some stuff around on the nightstands. Added a few pieces here and there, changed the lamp out, moved some things off the dresser, put them over here, and really that's all I did. Look at this luxurious um, cover, this blanket that is on the bed. That is actually by Nicole Miller. I picked that up from TJ Maxx for like $140. That was really nice. The duvet that's underneath that though, that wasn't really so inexpensive. That was like more like a $600 duvet that's underneath there. So definitely um, my company, they get to look at it on this clip. They ain't sleeping on this. Um, it's just really for my eyes only. And then I got this dresser for free from a friend. It's not my style, but you know, it's a perfectly good dresser. So I'm utilizing it. And ta-da, that's the end of this mini room makeover. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate you. We appreciate you for watching all of our videos. If you are not subscribed to our channel, please do us a favor and click that subscribe button now. And uh, definitely give us a thumbs up. Leave some comments if you want to see some more videos like this. And um, yeah, share us with your friends if you really like our content. Again, thanks for watching and we'll check in with you guys later.